Okay, so the benefits of social media marketing. And you can improve your relationships with your prospects and customers. You can obtain market research through interaction. Because you get to talk to your customers, you are finding out things that you could never find out before. Increase your brand awareness. You can gain insight into competitors. There are a lot of conversations going on out there in the marketplace right now. And you, you talk to any of the social media people here today, and what they're going to tell you is don't just jump in. Listen first. Find out what it's all about. Take a look at the etiquette. Take a look at the rules and regs of social media marketing and listen. You know, you have two ears and one mouth and use it in that proportion. And that applies to social media marketing as well. So you can, you can see what people are talking about, about your product and services or your competitors' products and services. It gives you the opportunity to find new, new distribution. And with the information that you gain by talking to and interacting with your prospects, clients, and, and customers, it gives you the opportunity to enhance your product, delete a product, uh, just um, improve the product. It makes your, uh, the, these interactions make uh, your company more attractive overall to your customer base. You can gain insight into a specific community by direct uh, uh, communication, which I mentioned, and it also gives you the opportunity to educate um, your prospects and your current customers. Um, by answering questions, there are, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm sure that uh, Chip's going to talk a little bit about uh, answering questions on LinkedIn, and there's a variety of things that you can do, a lot of places where you can actually do um, uh, answer questions uh, online, and you become an authority, you become an expert in your field. So by providing information, I mean, it, it, a lot of that is, is, is classic marketing 101. Uh, the more information that you can provide, the more you are seen as an expert in your field, uh, the more helpful you can be to your prospects <clears throat> in finding uh, information about products and services that they're looking for and that you offer, the more likely it is over time that uh, your reputation <clears throat> about your company, yourself, or your products and services will spread and eventually lead to sales, okay? One of the major things uh, which can be um, directly affected by uh, social media marketing is driving traffic to your web website. Um, <clears throat> almost everybody uh, that is going to be speaking today is going to, uh, whether it be Twitter, whether it be uh, LinkedIn, whether it be social bookmarking or syndication, whatever it is, and certainly blogs, have the ability to drive traffic to your site. So driving traffic to your site, as you know, does a variety of things. It, it helps you uh, provide more information if you just uh, want to put information about your products and services. Obviously, it's going to help your sales. And it's going to uh, uh, increase your, um, your position in the, in the search engines, uh, which it means it's more likely that you're going to be found faster uh, by people that are searching the Internet for your product. So if you're on page six and all of a sudden you have a blog and you, have, uh, you do some social bookmarking, you do some, uh, a variety of things which our speakers are going to talk about today, it gives you the opportunity to take your website from, a, from page 6 to page 4, page 20 to page 18, whatever that might be. This is, um, social media marketing has a direct effect on that, which ultimately, again, can help you uh, drive sales. Now, in the past, has anyone ever been to, a, um, uh, been to a focus group before? Okay, how long ago? When was the last time someone was in a focus group? How, how long ago? Recently? How long? 20 years, 20 years, yep. You know, they used to be behind the, the, the two-way glass, and they had, you know, um, M&Ms on this side and sandwiches and Cokes and things like that. And whenever you wanted to uh, ask a question, you'd, you'd write this down, and you, someone would bring it out to the moderator, and uh, the moderator would kind of get that in there, ask the question. But <clears throat> for those of you that have never been uh, to, a, um, uh, to a, uh, a focus group, what it does is you, you, you hired a company, a marketing company, to go out and find people ages uh, 18 to, to 27, male, 
uh, that, um, that do snowboarding that are in the market to buy a new snowboard. You give them very specific things that you were looking for. And then you, uh, they would sit there and you'd pay them 50 bucks a head to sit there for an hour with a moderator. And you know, it works and, and it still works, uh, but it's a, it's a contrived um, situation. People know that they're there. You know, the, they know that you're there. There's somebody behind this, this, um, this um, uh, two-way mirror, and it's not the people from CSI, you know, you know, waiting for you to break or anything like that. It's some sort of snowboard company. So, you know, they don't know how to answer, and especially if there's a, a strong person in that group, that it, it has a tendency that person can sway the thoughts and ideas that are going on in that focus group. So the focus group, you pay them, you feed them, you ask them questions for 60 minutes and they're gone. And from there, as marketers, we go back and we take that information and it helps us um, uh, create our products and services or make them better. That was then. This is now. Today's marketers, uh, I, I'm not going to dismiss the entire focus group industry because I think there's still a place for it. However, um, marketers can get that same information uh, directly from consumers. There's no moderator now. I'm the moderator. I'm part of the group. And I can solicit that information over time. Um, and this lets you enter the minds of your consumers in a very casual atmosphere, in a very non-threatening atmosphere. And you don't have to you know, buy peanuts and M&Ms and, and put them behind two-way glass. It, can help you answer their questions, it can help you answer your questions, you get feedback and you build relationships. And the more, the more um, personalized you can make those relationships, the more honest feedback you're going to get about your products and services. It's a very casual and, and comfortable atmosphere, not contrived. So <clears throat> that's why I said a little bit earlier that when you join a group, when you participate in social media marketing, it's not, hi, I'm from ABC Corporation and I sell this. You're, you're, you're going to get banned and you're, you're not going to get what you want. You want to participate. You don't want to always be selling. Um, you want to be participating, providing information, answering questions, which eventually over time will lead to uh, higher brand awareness and hopefully lead to, uh, to sales, increased sales as well.